All right, howdy boyos, and welcome back to Rising Storm 1. I've actually really been enjoying uh, my time in Rising Storm 1 and RO2, and I figured I would just play another game. I was talking to Barden, uh, one of the devs over at the um, Unsung Vietnam mod for Arma 3. We were talking about the bar and talking about it in, uh, in both in Unsung and in IFA, and that somehow really made me excited to, I guess, play with the bar in Rising Storm 1, in between brackets. So I figured today we're just gonna get some gameplay in with the bar, and I do have to say I love the bar in this game. It's it's awesome. I have a foregrip on it, which is a very, very big help, I'll be honest about that. Wait, do I have a ring on? Oh no, it's just my, my finger. Um, I, I do love the bar in this game. It's got two fire modes, like, um, it's got this single, uh, the slower fire mode, and it's got this full auto mode, basically. There's not a giant difference, but I think the difference is big enough. And especially at long range, it definitely makes a lot of sense to use this, like, slower firing, um, like, uh... Oh, not, like, really semi-automatic level. You can actually use it like a semi-automatic. You can shoot one round and then just, you know, release a trigger. That's a little bit harder with the fully auto one. Oh, they're attacking B, okay, and to run around. I have to say, like, I love it. I... As much as I dislike the Japanese machine gun when it comes to, you know, CQB and having to, re uh, like, quickly react to people running at you, this gun obviously is made for that. This gun has a foregrip, which is, a, you know, a big help when it comes to that. Obviously, this thing doesn't have a bayonet. Um, you can get one with a bipod. If you're level 50, you can get a bipoded bar. Honestly, I think you're wasting a lot of potential if you bipod this gun. There's 30 cals in the mod, or in, no, in the mod, in the game. So obviously, why don't you just pick the fucking 30 cal if you want to be a machine gunner? And you let people pick... Oh, I, thought I, I thought I killed him already. And you let people pick the bar when they want to destroy people up close. Like, that guy, I could have never killed that guy if this was the regular, like, uh, uh, Japanese machine, the Type 99 or Type 96. But with this thing, you can wreck people a bit because you can, you know, run up to them. and don't have to, like, uh, deploy the bipod or anything. There's another guy, like, right here, just now. Did I, no, 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 did I kill that guy? Let's go for a reload here. Is that a grenade? I don't think so, actually. Ah! It was! Damn it! I thought... <laughs> that sucks. I thought it was a, like, a... I just thought it was a... Uh, like like a little dirt thing that flew over, you know, it this game has a lot of like things flying over your head a lot of the times But I should have figured out that was a grenade. Anyway, let's move up um, Also one thing about the bar is I think it sounds amazing in this game um, it, it is very inaccurate, you know, you're firing like a 30-06 Basically off your shoulder, which to my surprise I mean I have fired I can actually say I have fired an M1 Garand which is the same caliber round I fired an M1 Garand, uh, like 16 times, like I fired 16 rounds, and after 8 of those, it was awesome, don't get me wrong, it was fucking amazing, but after 8 of those rounds, and not being used to firing a weapon, what the fuck is that? Circle arms, anyway, uh, my shoulder hurt for a lot of days, and I, I was in uh, Florida, so I went to the swimming pool, and I had this giant, like, bruise on my shoulder. Okay, granted, I fired lots of other weapons, like an AK and an MP40, but the MP40 was just... It, it was awesome shooting it, but it wasn't really, like, it didn't really hurt my, my shoulder. I mean, you're firing, like, it's like a 9mm versus 30 out 6 but... Imagining firing like eight rounds of a grand like mine. I had like such a like a bruise on my shoulder It looked fucking horrible. It was like blue and black and purple and yellow it was all kind of the colors of rainbow basically and uh, Now imagining people firing this bar from their shoulder, which is like 20 rounds. Dude, that's fucking ridiculous like that's I, I, I couldn't imagine doing that honestly because I'm pretty sure my fucking shoulder would fall off at some point now, I'm not really seeing lots of guys anymore, though. Not to poke out too much. Also, this is a bit of an alternate reality thing. Obviously, the Americans attack Peleliu, but since we're playing, uh, oh wow, there's a headshot. Yeah, I know. Because we're playing on uh, a campaign server, the Japanese voted to attack uh, Peleliu and not the other way around. So that's why we are actually defending it and not attacking it for a change. Because uh, I, I do love campaign. It does just create like a little bit of a different. Did I headshot that guy? Did I kill that guy? 
So there is some AI, which is some of the guys I'm killing right now. Okay, that was... Okay, well, I killed AI. I killed... I did kill someone at 230 meters of the bar. But there is, like, 50 people in the servers. There's only, like, 8 AI per team. Uh, and, like, 20 players. Or 25 players, even. No. Yeah, there's 20... 25 players per team and 8 AI, so I don't know why I'm coming up against AI the entire time. But uh, we're just gonna run left towards. Actually, no, I probably should go into A because I am. We're losing. Oh, there we go. We can't get that anymore. Get this guy some ammo. Set it to alt fire mode. Get the fuck down. Did I get that guy? He dead must have been a player though. Oh shit! Was that a rifle grenade or what the fuck? There's no rifle grenades in this game. That would have been really cool though. Definitely would have helped on assaults. Just have one or two. Damn it. Yeah, I should not go up there anymore. Especially not with a bar. It's not really made for that. Uh, we'll just spawn on spawn one. Nice instant spawn. Well, for this game, that's an instant spawn, waiting for like one and a half seconds. Yeah, no, my shoulder was bruised as shit when I fired and I went grand. That was just 16 rounds. I just can't imagine firing like a bar, like holding it against your shoulder for a, like a longer period of time. Because your your shoulder would be black, blue, yellow, red, gray, every freaking single color you can think of. Um, I might try one around here. It's clear over there. Both of this like broken down. Oh, this is bad actually. Uh, you're so slow with the bar. It's such a heavy gun. I've no clue how heavy it is. It's probably like a a good kilo or maybe six, seven kilos. And I probably. I don't know. Actually, well, I don't know. I, I, I actually have no clue how heavy a bar is. It's a bit annoying. It's a sniper. Friendly sniper though. Maybe I can get a flanking shot in here right here. Oh, my friendly died. No, he's still alive, never mind. Or maybe someone picked up his gun. Nope, he's still up. It's weird, because he's not on the map. Okay, I almost destroyed this guy. No, don't get on the machine gun! See, I'm just uh, one tapping it. And you're able to get... A shit ton of kill. Oh god, that was a fucking grenade or something. Let's go for a reload because they're gonna be maybe coming at us. Because that Inca warrior guy was like, oh, I'm gonna jump on this bunker and like be super obvious. Did I not kill that guy yet? There we go. It's about to say, like, come on. There you go. That might be an AI I just killed. I hate killing AI because it's like... Yeah, it's so easy killing AI, but there's like 52 people on the server right now, so I'm not really sure what's going on. There should be a ton of uh, enemies. There we go, got a kill. I think I'm stealing the sniper's kills at this point. You might not be too happy with me. Seems like most of the AI is running over there. But the thing is, there's no diff there's no way of differentiating an AI in an, in an actual player. Um, you know, AI is stupid. But it's hard to see if someone's stupid from very far away. Maybe I will push up a little bit after I reload here behind the sandbags. That was definitely in a player. Hmm. Pretty sure there's a bullet print version in this game. That might be an AI, he's just standing there like a very weird person. Okay, there, no, it wasn't clear. So there was a guy really close to me, and I 
thought he was AI. So I just fucked myself by being stupid and getting, thinking everyone is AI. I just need to kill everyone, and if I kill an AI, AI, then so be it. I mean, I can't really help that. There's actually, like, the server is almost full. There's six people. There's uh, less than, there's only six. Oh god, there's a lot of fucking Japanese people. This guy is having a field day. Look at that kill feed. He just got, like, four kills. Holy shit. That's impressive for a sniper. Because uh, it's not easy ha having a sniper, uh, especially the Springfield. Uh, like, if you have a G43 or a G41 or an SVT, it's pretty easy to, like, chain kills. But that guy just got four kills in a row on players. That's pretty impressive. So we're a pushback. And I must say, I'm not really a big fan of fighting over here. It feels very weird with the planes. And it's definitely... Uh, I definitely like the first part of this map. But the airfield part just feels like such a grind. Whether you're attacking or defending... Uh, we do have a, two tickets more than they do, and you only have eight minutes left, so that's good. Okay, let's get ready for the Japanese assault on our position. Maybe we'll go a little bit more left. Over here behind an engine. Shit. Gonna make it for that. This is a Kai 61, right? I could probably make it like right behind this one. Maybe the Zero this is very burnt out. Sure, I have eyes. Oh, okay. Well, I had no clue where this guy came from. Let's uh, jump back at this. Oh, I don't know where the squad leader might be. Oh, it's back here. Nice. I might as well go for D. I don't know. Actually, I might. No, maybe I'll go for that far, uh, far like uh, uh, the the like the three line that goes down south, and I'll just try and hold that little tight line over there. Because there's a shit ton of guys over there, as you can see. Let's just switch to full auto for now. Okay, so we're watching basically straight down that very hard line that's facing... Did I get him? Oh, I hit the wall. I'm still spraying that location a little bit. Pop a reload. Send myself to single fire. Well, you know, old fire, low fire, whatever you want to call it. Smoke going up. I hear, I hear a Japanese guy cry. There we go, that's a good grenade, actually, then. Oh, damn! <laughs> Get wrecked. I was pretty sure there was a guy right there. Oh, well, sorry about that. That sucks. It's gonna be a guy really close, as this guy just got killed. Single fire mode, or slow fire mode. I keep saying single fire, but it's not single fire. I mean, it's more single fire. You can make it single fire by just tapping it once, but it's definitely not real single fire. I hear a bonsai. There we go. There we go. There we go. Fucking, that's what the bar does. You just kill, like, three people in one fucking magazine. I love that shit. Now, I was gonna say, the sec- I was gonna say, I'm very much in the open here. I just saw a shot land at my feet. Why didn't I move? And my brain just turned off. My brain's like, you you're getting shot at. Let's stay here for another second. Um, but let's go back to the position. And try and cover D. Because we're gonna pretty much lose E. They're, older, they're always at a ticket, so we do have a good chance at this, honestly. Try and get around here. Brag out. Kind of a little bit cheatsy doodly. Throwing these. Oh shit, that, that, that just bounced back. It just looked like that. Oh, it just looked like it. I thought it, it bounced back for like one second. There's a flamethrower holding the building. That's so scary, like seeing the flames come out of a building. That's just the absolute terror as a Japanese player, like running at an objective. And the flames come at you from the building, then you know you're fucked. 
Because he's, 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 the flamethrower's gonna be able to kill you before you even get inside. Kind of trying to use this tree to my left, or a little bush. Because I'm the only person holding this right flank right now. Make sure I'm loaded. They only have 12 tickets left. We're down to 8 tickets. We can't do this. I'm just waiting for their, like, charge. I'm on full auto. Like, full fire mode. Not slow fire. I'll try and restrain. I'll try and not say single fire anymore. But it's really hard. It's not easy. It's friendly up there, right? Yeah, that was a friendly. I wasn't really sure. It looked like I had a Japanese hat on. So it's 7 to 6. 4 minutes left. Hold him just like right ditch over here. That's important. Friend is going up in the building. We're down to... Okay, they're down to zero tickets. We're going to be down to zero tickets in a second. We're down to lockdown as well. Okay, we're out of tickets now. So it's our last life. It means I have to, might have to rush in there at some point. Uh... Oh, nice. We're attacking E. That's good. Oh, I really don't want to be prone here. I don't want to be, like, in a bad position. Is that a gun? No, it's just a freaking little bush. Come on. I think it's if I push up over here, I know I'll die. Oh, God. There was a Japanese guy right there. Okay, did I get both of them? Oh, I did, and I got really lucky with that. With not, I got hit, but I had to bandage. I didn't die. Oh, that's so lucky. Okay, so now we're good. I think I can push up. This tree. By tree, I mean rock, because that tree doesn't give any cover. Oh shit! Okay, well, I took uh, I took a couple of Japanese guys with me as I when I died. Uh, let's see if we can get to into a free cam over here. There we go. So we have we still have guys in this building, including a sniper. It's not, a, it's not a too bad of a spot. I thought I did, I think he just got shot. Oh, this guy's gonna get wrecked. Oh, well, not not yet. Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Muffin Reaper. Come on, dudes. Japanese charge. Oh, this might be bad. He might stab people. There's still a flamethrower in the building, though. Oh, fucking, that's so brutal. There's just a flamethrower watching those entrances. Yeah, there he is. Damn. Minute left. There's only a couple Japanese guys left. They only have 40 seconds left, actually, because the lockdown's about to happen. So they have to capture both E and F. So that was definitely a, a good round. Um, I really like holding... I really like holding this side. Like, I, I was able to... Oh, there's a guy right here, actually. He's just going to sit there for... Is he not going to charge it? Assuming he might charge it now. He's got 18 seconds left. He has to go. Is he not going to go? 13. 12. Oh, he's going. 10. 9. Wow. I mean, is, is he... I think he was trying to save his off. Anyway, uh, we got the... We, hold, we held the line, uh, which is the nice ping there. And boom. Not the most kills. Um... Didn't get too far. That sniper guy, that Sky W guy, just sniped the entire match and wrecked a lot of people. Anyway, what I'll do is I will uh, pause the recording and come right back with you to another match. 
All right, in a weird coincidence, when I played with the Titan 99 machine gun, uh, we played Peleliu first, or uh, Hanto first, and then Peleliu, and now with the Barra playing Peleliu first and then Hanto. I mean, they are very common maps, and people really like to attack on Hanto, so it makes sense, and also Peleliu is a pretty decent map to attack on, uh, but it does make for a pretty stale video. Uh, a bit annoying that we are playing on the same map. Uh, or the same maps, I guess. Uh, but it's not really my fault. Like, I wish I could change it, but the server, you know, the people vote for the maps and then we, you know, follow up, I guess. It's not really something to change about that. So, like I guess we're taking out the bar. Oh, I got real lucky there. Oh, oh, that's a fucking frag. Go for it. Shit. No! Oh! Fucking bitch! Oh my god, that's so fucking scary. Woo! Dude, that shit's fucking PTSD inducing. Seeing a guy with the fucking bayonet charging at you. If, if I only had him on a ground, I would have been dead. That's so fucking scary. Like, holy balls. Let's move up a little bit more. Oh shit, I guess I'm all the way here now. That's bad. YOLO. Someone's gonna be first in. It's gonna be me. There's a shit ton of guys there. Holy balls. Oh well, I ran in. I got a couple of kills. Uh, it's almost a full server. We're like 60 people. So there's like, I think I shot one AI just now. Oh my god. That was, um, that, that, that guy running at me with the bayonet. I saw, I thought I was dead. I, I legit had a, had a small heart attack there. That was fucking, and then people really wonder, uh, like why people call this a PTC simulator and I guess it, the same goes for RO2 and then a little bit of a lesser degree Rising Storm 2. I mean, it's still very much PTSD, but you don't get those like awesome Banzai charges or the uh, Russian URA charge. So I mean, it's a little bit less uh, PTSD, but it's still very much PTSD and Rising Storm 2. Um, yeah, no, oh god. I love, I love Rising Storm 1. Like this is so good. Just, it, the jungle feels different from uh, Vietnam, uh, like, I mean, the game. It feels very different, but it's, it feels really good. I don't know, I still, I really love the jungles of this game. There's something about it keeps me coming back. Um, you know, whether I'm playing with a Springfield or an M1 Garand or with an Arasaka or with a Bar, there's something that always gets me coming back to RO2 and Rising Storm 1. And I hope that people will keep their servers up. Because I'm sure that, you know, in even in two years from now, there's still going to be a couple servers of people playing RO2 or, you know, Rising Storm. Because they're just such good games. They're so fucking good. Did I get that guy? Pretty sure there's a guy, like, right behind that wall. Oh, there's a guy in the building. I love it when you one-shot people with the bar. It's so fucking good. The piano. There's someone in here. He just got sprayed to death. Someone must have killed that guy. Oh, I just saw a flaming Japanese man run into a house. That must be pretty horrible. I'm assuming... That was only... Yeah, I'm assuming that was... Uh, they have a guy with a Thompson somehow. It might be like an elite guy. Okay, little reload. Oh, I love this. Like the, sh the slow fire is so good. Let's actually crouch and get some more accuracy with this thing. Seeing a little bit in the open right now. I want to get. Eyes on the further, the bigger part of the town over here. Shit. 
shit. I can hear him yelling. There's a guy like right here, isn't there? Oh god, that was a very close grenade. He's got wrecked by a Type 100. Reload, re fucking load, re fucking load. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I love, I love blowing up people with the bar. I mean, it's not, like, you're not actually blowing. Oh! <laughs> Damn, son. Nice one. Fuck me. That was good. <laughs> that was, uh,. That was a nice one. I'll have to give it to that guy. Granted, I was reloading, so I couldn't really stop him anyway. Uh, but that was uh, that that scared the balls out of me. I did not think there was gonna be a guy like right there. Let's uh, drop a frag or two in there, though. Hope these grenades are far away enough that they won't kill friendlies. It'd be awkward. So let's keep it on the. Uh, let's not. Uh, let's go. Let's go to old fire. Hold on. Guys. I'm sure this guy is. I'm sure this guy is actually not an enemy running behind me. Because in this fucking jungle, you have no clue. It could be like right next to you. It's so scary. Japanese guys are very well camouflaged. Did that friend just die over here? Hmm. Okay, we just capture B, that's good. Let's go to full auto. Oh, move, dickhead. Is there a guy like in here somewhere? First, there's a guy like somewhere here. It's clear up there. Let's go check it out though. Oh, okay. Well, I aimed a little bit too high. Uh, I and I haven't really hip fired with the bar in a very, very long time, so that was uh, something I definitely did not really anticipate. Okay, there's a shit of artillery coming down right there. We also have friendly artillery coming down behind it. It's good. Pop the. I always like to make sure I have the full mag in the M1911, not just seven rounds. Now I have eight rounds in there. I personally think. Oh, got to stay away from the artillery. I personally think that's very important. I just make I just want to make sure that if I go in with it, I'm not gonna get wrecked just because I forgot like one round. There should be one more artillery strike coming in, I think. Yeah, there it is. Put it to single or slow. I keep saying single for some reason. I don't know. I mean, I use it as a single fire one, but let's go around left side. I guess let's just try it. Clear. Get a guy with a grenade. Check this left corner over here. Clear. Front. This is the hard part. Yeah, there's a guy to my left. Fuck. I heard a shot. I think he was to my left anyway. There was no friendlies around me. So. Oh, there goes the flamethrower. Rainbow Fury. And you have Muffin Reaper who just got shot from the right somewhere. Just saw him behind a rock, I think. Uh, yeah, I just saw him move this, his arm. Let's reload. And. Let's reload this beauty. Make sure we have full ammo. Fucking bastard. I could hear this guy talking to himself. Oh! There was a guy on the floor? What? There was a guy on the floor? Hey, what the fuck? That's not... That wasn't the deal. Yo, boy. What the shit? There was a guy on the floor. Or maybe he was in the shadow. I was really excited killing that one guy, and then this Koza Hun guy just destroyed my butthole with the fucking bayonet. 
He's dead. He's friendly though. Looks like one Japanese guy over here somewhere. Give me a sec. Sounds like there's like a bolt action rifle or something going on over here. Granted, it's very hard for us to find these people. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there is a guy there. I can't find him. I'm gonna run right. And we're gonna come back in from the flank. Love that. I was another guy there. Reload, 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 reload. Oh, when you one shot someone, it's so good with the bar. So, my favorite thing might still be actually hitting someone when they're running away or running like sideways, see, like that one guy just was. Okay, I was gonna say I'm gonna die. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to move up because the flamethrower was there. And if there's one thing I've learned, stay the fuck away from a flamethrower because they don't care. And granted, when I'm playing with the flamer, if you're dumb friendly running next to me or near me and I see an enemy, that means I'm gonna burn him. And you better not be in the way. And if you're in the way, then you're gonna die. That's how I play a flamethrower. So I very much expect other people to play their flamethrower the exact same way. So, uh, yeah, I, I really don't like being anywhere near flamethrowers. Also, funny mention, uh, the Japanese had like 50 tickets and we had 20 tickets on the campaign map when, I, when we started playing. And if we win this match, the Americans will still win the campaign because this is the last territory on the campaign map. So we just gotta win this, we just gotta win this match and we win the entire campaign, even though we have like a quarter of their tickets left. So if we have like 18 tickets and they have like 40. So be aware of the very loud ear rape after this, uh, after we win this round. Or, or lose the round. Well, maybe not if we lose the round. If we win this round, it'll definitely be, be some ear rape. Because it's going to be like, Americans have won the war! Blah, 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 blah. It's a campaign thing. And I love the campaign uh, game mode in, in this game. I just wish that the audio was a bit on the lower side regarding the whole victory celebration sound. Because it's so loud. I really wish they'd bring campaign back to Rising Storm 2. It would make some of the maps really interesting. Uh, you can't really do it on Supremacy. But it would be interesting to see territories played as the Americans defending... Not because it's realistic, just because it'd be fun to see how the, how the Vietnamese would stack up. Oh god, that's not good. Bandage, fun. Did I bandage at least? I think I just mashed left control like a billion times. I think I'm good. Hello? Okay, reload. That was weird. That was glitched out for a second. I'm still alive. That's good. I think I just shot the guy off of that tower, didn't I? If not, I'll just shoot up there in, in general and hopefully kill him. Holy shit, that's a lot of guns. We gotta get inside somehow. That's a grenade. That was a fucking grenade falling over. That's another grenade falling over. It's not, it's not a good place to be on that right side. I've learned that for sure. Let's, uh, oh god, there goes an American. Let's go around the left side here. Okay, don't run, don't run in front of the 30 cal gunner. Learned that as well. Let's give you some ammo. Oh, I did give you some ammo, sure. Run around and not run in front of friendlies with a machine gun. Try and go on the left side, because the right side's bad. Don't go there. That's how you get fragged. We have 20 tickets more than they do, but we're still attacking. We have five minutes left. Fuckers. Damn. I was running somewhere I did not expect to get killed. Anyway, well, let's spawn spawn one then and run around. Uh, we're probably not going to get the most kills this match. Um, Someone else is uh, ahead of me, but we can at least try and help capture the objective. If we spawn... Again, let's pop some new magazines in. 
and get ready for the push on this left hole. The left side is a little bit less hard on the right. You just gotta make sure that that little, like there's gonna be a little wooden wall. You just need to make sure that that is totally suppressed until death before you jump over it. Shit, this guy, come on. There's like seven people watching that thing and I'm the only person actually shooting back. God damn it. That sucks. That's what I want to squat later. I might as well save myself a couple of meters running. Pop a reload. Pop a reload. Oh, we're down tickets now. Okay, nice. I killed that guy. I'm trying to suppress the area over there. Go for a run. Come on, come on. Make sure we're all good. Match 11's good. It's been recently been flamed. That was a bad frag. Flames not a bad idea over there. Oh, it's got oh, got the same guy again. Fuck it. Oh, I heard the frag go over. Okay, YOLO. No! Well, that's all time, no problem. That's my fault. That's my fault. But he threw it too short. I have no clue who is friendly, who's who is good. I'm gonna jump in here and get the fucking thing secured. I just gotta fucking get in the corner. Hide, hide, hide. Okay, now at least I made it over here. Full fire mode. So that was a grenade, that was a grenade, that was a grenade. Crouch, crouch, crouch and cover behind the wall, come on. This way. I couldn't save. I didn't want to shoot through my friendlies, so I couldn't kill that guy. Reload again. Push up one tree. Shot him in the arm. Shot in the arm, but you're too late. You give love a bad name. Shot in the arm. I know it's the sign, but it's not. Enemy down. Can you see what I mean? I'm in a great position here. Oh my god. They're not gonna stop coming. I need a new- I need to fucking give me ammo! Is he charging? No! I'm reloading! No! Holy shit! I just did some fucking killing, man! Holy balls! I just went from like, I don't know, that that's gonna be a new record for me. That was ridiculous. I sprayed down like... 15 people. So where the fuck am I? Oh, my over here. Shit, this is a bad spot. And we got a couple tickets. How did we not cap it with my like, efforts over there? Oh, damn it. No, there's a bad frag on the ground. I don't want people to stand on that, please. Damn it. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hopefully the other guy will forgive me too. I don't know who the other person was, but... Oh, that sucks. Anyway, we're probably gonna lose this. That was a... Uh, I don't think I've ever been so sweaty. That was ridiculous. It's a shame we won't actually be winning this. Um, we got really close. But holy balls, I... Uh, 
That that might have to be. That might. I don't know. That's probably gonna be the end for right there. It is. That was me. Here's a Japanese commander calling in reinforcements, calling in artillery. We're not gonna. We're not gonna cap it. But we did do an insane. I did do an insane amount of damage. Again, overtime because we're capping D, but I doubt we're gonna cap it. Actually, I might get the most kills this round if uh, Tsunami doesn't get an extra kill because he's 35. We'll see that in a second. We got one or two friendlies inside the Japanese guy. Oh, damn it! No! Did he? Oh, he killed like three people right before the game ended. Damn it! All right, well. I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, better than that, it's not going to get. 36 kills in the bar with like 15 at the very end. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, guess little step towards Rising Storm 1. I definitely will be playing more RO2 and Rising Storm 1. And of course, more Rising Storm 2. So drop a like if you liked the video. And I would love to see you in the next one. Cheers.